Michael. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being the great people you are in this part of the region. I'm going to go straight to the word of the Lord. Tatuhemens, how much time do you give me? So that I know if I must preach or sing through it. 35 minutes, you cannot even raise the dead. I preach three hours where I, am, where I go. Amen. They once gave, gave they, not once actually, they gave me a mic at nine o'clock in the evening. And uh, when I gave back the mic to them, it was six o'clock and the sun was coming up. But I promise you, the work was done. One of my deepest cries, I had a conversation with Uba Mfundisi about this, that our churches are so rushed. Our services are so rushed. We are more time conscious than God conscious. Even when God would come and, and manifest in a certain way, we are so rushed to have him do anything. I pray that when you come, when we come to the conferences and some of the services that will be designed for God's expression, I understand that a Sunday morning uh, perhaps is a service designed for, 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 for people to come and glean so that they can come and find a, a, a time with God. Let us be people. Amen. 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 Let me go to the word of the Lord. Thank you that I'll, I'll you, you'll have to time me. I won't have time to time myself. Amen. Since I'm going to be rushing and, and, uh, um, and singing through it. Amen. If I was going to be ministering today, I was going to, our departure scripture would be Acts chapter 2, verse, uh, Acts chapter 7 verse 22 in the amplified version of the bible and that would have been our 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 anchor scripture and we would work with isaiah 55 um i would support that a lot with john chapter 8 verse 11 second corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 hebrews chapter 8 verse 10 jeremiah chapter 31 verse 33 to 34 and more scriptures i'm a word person one of the major thing about this church we are word people we are word 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 people um uh, uh, let me just uh, let me just show this it, it caught my heart i'm still studying the my the minas remember the minas 10 minas Five minutes, one minute, and, and all. I'm still studying that. It's an amazing study if you can take yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm not studying it to preach. I'm studying it for myself to grow. Amen? The, the, the question the, the, that was posed to me by the Lord was, what is your financial temperature? What's your financial temperature? What's your money temperature? And I asked the Lord, what's that? And he took me to the scriptures and I discovered. And then the Lord further said to me, uh, um, I asked the Lord, how do I then increase my temperature? So he took me to those scriptures and a number of other scriptures. So I'm studying that. I'm studying that for myself. And I've, one of the things I've discovered is this. Let me, let me just read it to you. Um, Halle Berry, you Halle Berry, you know Halle Berry, the, the Halle Berry, it's not a biblical, it's not a Bible person, but Zalwana, it's not a Bible person, Bonga Babantu and Zabachu, Abakwa Pe Paipileni, Amen, Gabantu Nje, Abanye Base America, Abanye Base India, they are somewhere in the diaspora. Now, a Halle, Halle Berry um, is worth $30 per minute, which makes her $18,000 uh, per hour, which makes him, which makes her rather 18 million per annum because of who she is. She does nothing. She's just wonderfully and fearfully created, beautiful to the core. That's all she is. And she, that's what, that's her words. And then, um, Tiger Wood, he makes one, $177 per minute, which makes him 89 million dollars per annum because of what he does because of what he does but it's a value per minute it is value per minute it is value per minute it is value per minute because of what he does 
And then you have Stephen Stilben. He makes um, 635 per minute, which makes him 900 million per annum because of what he makes others to do. Because of what he makes others to do. Makes him, uh, uh, his value per minute is 635. And then you have um, the Moguls of India. The value per minute is 2,100, which makes him 4 billion per annum because of what he influences others to do. And so on and so forth. And I sat with the Lord and I asked, Lord, why, what are you saying? When you go to the doctor, you pay 2,500 to a specialist gynecologist um, per 15 minutes. Per 15 minutes. When you go to a legal, for a legal advice, you pay um, that amount, how much? A thousand rands, two thousand rands uh, per 30 minutes. That's, a, that's his value per 30 minutes. And you come to church for a counseling, a prayer, a loving of the Lord, a shift forever, an internal value, and you pay nothing. Which is why we easily fall away. Which is why we don't value much and create other options for what God has given us. My question to you, what is your value? How do you measure that? When you get out of that door and you are not at church anymore, how do you do you? That will make sure that in the next 10 years, you are still strong, you are healthy, you are alive, you serve the Lord, you love the Lord, you do the work and the will of the Lord with excitement. Because here's one thing that God got angry with Israelites. God angry with Israelites because they did not serve him with joy. They did not serve him with joy. The other thing the Lord got angry with Israelites is because they forgot the things he did. They forgot the testimonies. May you not forget the testimonies. May you not forget the Lord healed you at some stage. May you not forget the Lord helped you. May you not forget the Lord pulled your family together when it was disastrous. May you not forget that the Lord forgave your sins. May you not forget the Lord gave you children when you could not. May you not forget the Lord stabilized your career and the Lord stabilized and grew your business. May you not forget the testimonies of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your mind remains active. Let everybody this morning who feels drowsy stand up. If you feel drowsy right now, please stand on your feet. She's not the only one. If you feel drowsy, you feel your eyes are heavy, Please stand up before I make you stand up. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand up if you feel heavy. You feel your eyes are heavy. Sandy. Stand up. Stand up if you feel you are drowsy. You feel tired. You feel loaded. Stand up. You feel heavy. You feel a sense of heaviness. You feel, oh, oh. You, you, you feel you dragged yourself to even come to church. If you, have a, if you had an option, you would have slept a little longer. Father, these are your children. I pray that you give them an awakening. I pray, my Father, that you strengthen their frames. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke the slumberness that wants to steal the word that belongs to them. I pray, oh God, that you give them a prophetic word this morning. I pray that you give them a word that will change them for the rest of their lives. I pray that you change their, tra their trajectory this morning. I pray that you answer their prayers, that they no longer feel burdened, heavy, loaded, and drowsy and tired and disappointed and, 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 and losing the touch and feel of who you are. I bless them, Lord God, with an awakeness. 
I bless them, Lord Jesus, with answered prayers. I bless them, Lord God, with grace to do abundantly above all that they may ask or even imagine. I bless them, my Father, with love and strength. I bless them with the embrace and an encouragement from heaven in the name of Jesus. I believe this and I receive on behalf of every one of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's be seated on the, in the presence of the Lord. Please tell somebody, I'm awake. Find another person, say, I'm awake. Find another person, say, I'm not awake, only I'm alert. Amen. Say this prayer with me as I'm going to tell through the word of God. Say, Lord Jesus, I choose to forgive I choose to walk in love. I choose to walk in understanding. I forgive my parents. I forgive myself. I forgive any and everything that I may walk in peace with you. Let your word come into me and not be hindered by anything. Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Maybe I would humbly ask us to please stand just for the reading of Acts chapter 7, verse 22 from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Now my 35 minutes start here. So Moses was educated in all wisdom and culture of, Egypt, of the Egyptians and he was a man of power and he was a man of power in words and in deeds say Moses, Moses. was powerful in words powerful. and powerful in deeds powerful. say Moses, Moses was powerful in words powerful. and powerful in deeds powerful. say Lord Jesus I am powerful in words I am powerful in deeds tell your neighbor neighbor I am powerful in words and I'm powerful in deeds. Find another neighbor, say neighbor. I am powerful in words and I'm powerful in deeds. Find somebody that has faith, say lady. I have words, they are powerful. I have deeds, they are powerful. I am powerful in words, I am powerful in deeds. Let us be seated in the presence of the Lord. Say power words produce power deeds. There's a woman who was found in adultery. Please find me that scripture. I forgot to save it. This woman was found in adultery. You remember the story, right? That's not where I'm going. Let me quickly take into that. But listen to what happened there. She is brought to Jesus. Say she's brought to Jesus. All by herself. Say injustice. She finds herself in the presence of the king of glory. Him who was in the beginning. Moses holding the thought there. Moses goes to God. And God writes with his finger and he writes the law, say the law. He gives it to Moses. Moses in anger breaks the law. Say he breaks the law. He goes back to God and the Lord says, write. Now the second one was written by Moses at the instruction of God. Say he wrote. He wrote on the tablets of stones. Say on the tablets of stones. Now on those tablets of stones it was written. Anyone who is found in adultery ought to be stoned to death. Now these men bring it back to now in the presence of Jesus. Jesus who was there as God and in God when Moses was writing the law. Now that law is carried by these men on the stones they were carrying. 
these men are carrying stones they are carrying the law that is written in these stones and the law that's written in these stones is that this one who is caught in this kind of act is going to be killed based on the law that is written on stones say stones in the presence of the lord cutting the long story short the lord jesus begins to write say he wrote the lord jesus began to write say he wrote but this time he did not write on stone he began to write on the ground say on the ground he wrote he begins to write on the soil say on the soil he wrote a human, being, a human being, we understand that the word human simply means an earth man, a soil man. When, you are say, when we say you are a human being, we say you are a dust person. The word hum is dust. Now, Jesus is just about to change the status quo. He's just about to change the law. He's just about to change the written code. He's just about to turn things around for this woman who is expected to be killed based on what he did did he not do it did she not do it yes she did it what does the law say the law written on stone said this woman qualifies by this law that is on these stones to be stoned to death but jesus intervenes Jesus intervenes. He is not, he's not saying, no, don't stone the woman. He's simply right. He simply writes something. He writes, we, we don't know what Jesus wrote, but what I know, when Jesus began to write, he did not write on stones anymore because my Bible says, the new law I am writing on your hearts. The new law I am writing in you. And since you are human, I am going as the Lord God as I did in the beginning when I formed the human being. I am going to write on this earth a new law that's going to supersede the law that is disqualifying you to death. When you go to the till at Woolworths or pick and pay wherever and then a transaction is made and they do a they make a mistake there, they will call a supervisor and say to the supervisor, what? Override. The Lord Jesus says, I, I, I'm not arguing with your verdict, no. But I'm just about to override. And write a new law. Moses was mighty in words. And mighty in deeds. We're going to do words. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. Uh, 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 please, I'm going to run a little bit fast. Because I want us to end at Esther. Oh God, uh, how are we going to do this? Uh, uh, we're going to have 35 minutes. Just going to start exactly when I start preaching. This is just an introduction that happens. It's an introduction. I'll tell you as, I so, as soon as I start preaching. Then we start the clock. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you have Isaiah 55? We, we, we don't look for a verse. We're going the whole thing, the whole chapter. It's an introduction that at this part we're not counting in the minutes because we are still reading. Amen. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Please Everyone read. who thirsts. How many people? Yeah. Everyone who thirsts. Uh -huh. Come to the water. Come. And That's an instruction. Everyone who thirsts does what? Come. Is ours. Come. When you come. The Lord is not saying I will bring you water. It says, everyone who thirsts must do what? Come. come. Say, Lord Jesus, here I come with my thirst. I'm coming to you who is the author of life, who's got life-giving streams. Would you, Paul, where shall we go from you? From out, for out of you flows rivers of life-giving streams. Therefore, this scripture says, if you are thirsty, come. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's and, go. And you who have no money, come. Ho, ho, ho. Wait. You who are thirsty, come. And whoever.
else must come? You who have no money. When you are thirsty, you cannot deal with your thirst when you have no money. I don't know what you are thirsty for this morning. I don't know. Maybe you are thirsty for success. Maybe you are thirsty for promotion. Maybe you are thirsty for healing. Maybe you are thirsty to get married. If you are married, you are thirsty to take your marriage into another level of excitement. I don't know what you are thirsty for this morning. But my Bible says, when you are thirsty, come. If you have no money, come. And the source is the same. Let's go, let's go. But come buy grain Say, eat. Come, I, I thought you said I have no money. It says, come do what? Come buy grain and do what? And eat. Mm -hmm. Come buy wine and milk. Come buy wine and? And milk without now, money. Now, let, 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 let's go, let's go principle here. If he says, come buy grain, it means the Lord says, I'm going to give you a field. And in this field, you are going to plant. And once you have planted, you are going to wait on the Lord. For it is him who brings rain and the crops grow and you harvest after you have planted. So when the Lord says, come, I will, you, you want to eat grain, I'm giving you a field let's keep going and if he says you will drink wine the Lord says I am going to give you a vineyard you are going to plant grapes and since you are going to plant grapes you've got to be insist you've got to be precise with timing because grapes they are their harvest and their strength is very much critical on timing once grapes you, you lose two days without harvesting you lose lose it. So God says, I am calling you to a precision of time. I am calling you to a timing so that you are aware of time, when to do, how to do, with whom to do. Yes. Say timing, timing. And, time and time will guarantee my long term harvest because he, wine is not grape juice. Grape juice you squeeze it now but wine you've got to wait for it to mature. So God is saying to you, you will have a 12 months harvest and eat. You will have a long term harvest and have it. Yeah. Says in other words, I'll bless you now and I'll bless you longer. I'll bless you immediately and I'll bless you long term. I'll bless you short term and I'll bless you long term. I pray that some Hears the Lord this morning. Let us go. Without money and without cost. Uh, do, do the sentence together. Okay. Come buy wine and milk without money. And come without buy. Ma, come buy what? Wine and milk. Without wine money. and milk. Uh -huh. Buy how? Without money and without cost. And you are waiting to your next level, waiting for money. You say, Lord, I can't do it. I promise you. I went in settles in this one area for years. When I lost my, 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 my shed here at home with everything that I had for business, I just moved everything, that little shop that I was doing, I was changing, I was moving uh, into a different premise. All my 36 sewing machines I used to, I used to train, if you remember back in the day, I used to train 36 sewing machines, 12 over lockers, all my decoration material, all my, my little cafe shop, everything that was there was bent to the ground with nothing. And insurance did not. What I did not realize is, is that something in me died. That was 2014, September 5. What I did not know was that something in me died. And I went in circles for the past seven years plus. For the past seven, that's a full cycle of life. Waiting for capital knocking at doors and asking people being somebody's subject that because i was hoping to rebuild business because i'm saying i am wanting what money until i read the script 
until I read that scripture, until I read that scripture, and until when I read that scripture, it spoke to me, it spoke to me, it stopped being a Bible scripture that is written for anybody, it became a testimony for me, I said, Lord, I'm going to take you at your word, I'm going to do what you are saying, and I said, Lord, from this very hour, I am leaving people, because God has already said, cast is he whose whole Hope is on people. I say, Lord, I remove my eyes from people and I'm bringing back my eyes to you. Where shall my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. My help comes if you lift your eyes to the Lord. The Lord God Almighty. The Lord strong in battle. The Lord who is able to change seasons. The Lord who is able to do his work. I promise you, he will come through for you this is the God we serve he is able to do all things you can come and interview me all he wants he wants your faith he wants you to believe in him he wants you to believe him he wants you to take off your eyes from human beings and take your eyes to him Never allow yourself to do anything and think you have arrived. Now there are certain prayers you must never pray if you don't mean business. When I came out of 2014, 2015, I said, Lord, do a new thing in me. Birth in me a new thing. And the Lord said to me, I am calling you out of people and I'm sending you to my people. And I want you to be a mother. I said, Lord, wait. I've never heard of anybody who's called to be mother. I submitted that to my husband. I submitted that to Tatu Potwana. I submitted it to Tatu Mishwe. I submitted it. I submitted it in Kumkul. The answer I got was that you, the prophet, that is corrective. But the mother is the original I designed as God and for the purposes of producing others. And I want to tell you in this church, because you have a mother, I am productive and I produce out of my spiritual womb a people that are worth the standing. I produce out of my womb a people of standing, a people who are productive, a people who are wealthy, a people of wealth and health in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, I double dare you believe God. Mine as a mother called by God is to make sure you have faith for your next level. Is to make sure that what God does for you. Here's one of the mistakes I had been doing all my life. I've been working myself like a monkey or a, a what you call this thing, a, a big monkey, a, 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 a baboon. When I get a truth, I would put it here, my please borrow your bottle, mama. I will take a truth and I say, oh, God has blessed me. God has blessed me with this truth and I got a breakthrough and then, and then I keep running and I say, oh God, thank you for this other truth. Now I have got two truths. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your work in me. I am coming to buy and then I got another truth and I put that other truth over there and I say, oh Lord Jesus, thank you now. I have another truth and all I am doing, I am remaining with the same thing because I put one when I take another one and I keep losing. God wants you to keep it all and God wants you to have it all together. It is yours. Amen. Hope I'm talking to somebody this morning. It says, come by without money. Change your mind. Change your mind. A rent is one of the currencies. Not all money is the same. You've got a pula, you've got a, 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 a quacha, you've got a dollar, you've got an American dollar, you've got a, a, an Australian dollar. Those are different. Those are different monies, but they are not the same. But if you want to take it a step higher, you're going to have a sterling, a sterling silver, a brick of silver. And if you want to take it just a little bit higher, you've got to have a brick of gold. If you want to take it a 
little bit higher. You've got to have some diamonds. All of those, they are called money. They are called wealth. You cannot afford to literally uh, limit yourself if you into a rand wealth. Think bigger, think better, think stronger. Think at the level of God so that you are able when he says, come buy without money. You say, Lord, what is that? And he says, that's your faith. He says to Jeremiah, Jeremiah is in prison. Jeremiah is in prison and the Lord says to Jeremiah, go and buy that field. And Jeremiah says, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Uh, Lord, what, what, what? What's in your blind spot? Have you not noticed I am in prison? And I'm in this prison because of you. Jeremiah says, I'm in this prison because of you. I'm busy. I was busy doing your work, busy prophesying, busy telling people what you wanted me to say. And I end up in prison because of you. Now you say, I must buy a field and you know I'm in prison. And the Lord says to Jeremiah, buy the field. Lord, where am I going to get the money? How am I going to buy the field am I, when I'm in prison? And the Lord says, buy the field. And when he insists, he says to Jeremiah, buy the field because... Buying and selling will happen again. Say again. again. Say again. again. Say again. again. And Jeremiah is in prison. He makes a deal, a land deal while he is in prison. And the Lord says, take this property and let the title deed be kept for you. There are things you mustn't keep yourself to yourself. Let's go. Let's go. A am I talking to somebody this morning? He says, come by without money. All I need is your faith. You say, Lord, I have your word. I am mighty in word. I will speak your word until your word produces. Say, I am mighty in words. The faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Mm. Simply accept it as a gift from God. Wait. Come, buy, right? Come. You are thirsty? Come. Come, buy without money? Yes, I've come. Your coming according to this is all that's needed. Your obedience to come and drink is all that is needed because he says what? Accept it as a gift. Accept from God. it as a gift. When you left your departure point, was going to buy and you did not have money. But when you arrive because you came, he says, receive it as a gift. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. You did not hear me. All you had to do was to take a step of faith. To what? What God is calling you for? To follow your steps. He says you are thirsty for promotion. You are thirsty for increase. You are thirsty for enlargement. All you need to do is to come. Now that you have come. And he says you, you came knowing how much this is. You came having calculated the cost. You came knowing what's at stake. You came knowing what you going to lose but you still came you came not feeling like coming you came with everybody disqualifying you but you came and since you have come the Lord says do what accept what you came to buy as a gift You did not have money in the first place. But the Lord wanted your obedience so that he can give you a gift. And what is this gift? I'm, this week, this week, I've been receiving gifts like nobody's business. These past few weeks, I've been receiving gifts. Some of my gifts, they, have, they had to courier them from Devon. Gifts? Me, gifts. Because God knows my primary love language. You know, they, they gave me gifts. And, and, and I had, I, the, 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 the buying without money there, this little testimony, I had a gap in one of the projects I was doing. <coughs> so, because I'm old school, 
I don't go to preach with a budget in mind. I, I'm those old ones. You, you, you go to preach in obedience to the Lord. What, I, what, what we do as preaching to me, it's sacred. So I went there and, and, and my sessions were two. After I finished the two sessions, something in me says, just stick around. So I decided to stay and, uh, and, and, and the, the host says, please, please stay. And they extended my days in the beautiful hotel, by the way. And then when, they, when, when I was there, they are speaker from Kenya. A mighty man of God did not arrive. And the host said to me, Mamkosa, please stay on and minister the word. I said, yes, ma'am. It's an honor to serve. And I preached my heart out. I preached like there was no other day I will ever preach in my life. They, they, they kept these gifts, gifts like, I mean, gifts, gifts as cool and as mean, it gifts like from, from a steel wool to blankets to big, 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 big posters. It's still wool, and we still wool, I was given steel wool, steel wool, no, not in sponge, steel wool, as is silver. Mwa ba ya steel wool, ne, ne, ne fanel. Da piwi fanel, e gawe, ni fanel. I would, I, would, I would never think of giving him to a funnel. And when I went home, I realized I actually don't have a funnel. I funnel and the I can't finish seven and countless and yes, that he with funnel it away. But the gap I had for that project, God did this. He says, You're going to preach over there. But my daughter came here by faith. To buy without money. So when uh, I'm closing the airport, closing the flights, you, you, you'll, you'll miss the flights. Just hang on there. I'll, I'll look after you. Just hang on there. I'll, I'll take care of you. But for now, I want this one. I want this one because I, I, I have a deal with her. She's going to tell this testimony to somebody who's feeling discouraged and that person will take this testimony and make it their lifestyle and come and do your work without thinking twice and I will take care of them. Amen. And this my God when I preached, when I arrived home, they did not say much. When they arrived home to my greatest surprise to their daughter. To the last set. I needed the deal was done. God, when God inconveniences you, my mom, when he inconveniences you, it is because he is answering her prayer. And the reason he is inconveniencing you and taking you to answer her prayer, it is because he is creating space in you so that he, oh God, oh God, oh, oh. Oh, oh, that thing we are doing is by faith. I double dare you believe God again. I double dare. Uh, when God takes yours and gives it to this one, it's because God knows when I answer people, I give them people. So as, as answers come from different places. Some answers come directly from God. Some answers God uses people. Some answers God uses sends angels. But the answers that he loads on people, still those answers rely on the people's will so God says I'm going to bless you that way it seems to be an inconvenience to you please do know that I'm talking a different law here uh, you, you look like you are being reversed you look like you're being reversed, right? So don't forget when an aeroplane is just about to take off. That little truck that will push the aeroplane backward. And the aeroplane go backward. If the aeroplane were to talk, it would say, leave me alone, I can, I can fly. But now the aeroplane has got to take a position. And this position is going to tell if this aeroplane will take off or not.
God because this aeroplane has got to build momentum. Say build momentum. Say build momentum. When you feel you are being reversed, when you feel you are being ignored, if your name is Esther and they are ignoring you and you are, you are a queen, but no, the king is not calling you, please know it is a season to build momentum. It is a build, it is a build up of a momentum. It is a season to stay in that obscure place and in hiding. Don't quickly expose yourself. Don't quickly tell people your plans. Don't quickly tell people what God is doing. Don't quickly tell people what you are about to do. Stay there and position yourself. Take a position because you, you, you're just about to run. You, you, you're not going to walk anymore. You're not going to walk at the, at the level you've been going anymore. You're not going to have certain conversations because they are irrelevant to you. There are things you're not going to dignify with an answer, not because you're undermining anybody, simply because you don't have time. You wish you can engage at this conversation, but time doesn't allow because of the speed that you've got to go at, because of what God is calling you for right now, and you're taking a position of speed because God has already said he will restore the year stolen by locusts so you are just about to overtake and when you overtake you accelerate if you have driven anything when you are going to overtake you do what you accelerate may i say to this church this is your season of acceleration in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost i prophesy to you it is a season of acceleration in the name of jesus and according to amos Things are happening at once. Listen to my word. I'm not saying things are going to happen. I'm saying things are happening at once. One thing on the heels of the other. Your head is beginning to swim. Let's go. Let's go. We'll finish. Why do you spend money for that which is not bread? And your earnings for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me. Wait, you've been spending and you're not satisfied. Five years as is in Let's leave that for another day. There's somewhere I'm going. Yes. Listen carefully to me. Do what? That's another instruction. It says do what? Listen. Faith comes by hearing. Therefore, you must listen. And this time he says, listen carefully. Let's go. And eat what is good. And let your uh, soul streamline yourself. Who do you listen to? Who do you make yourself an audience to? Whose audience are you? Who speaks to your hearing? Because you must listen carefully so that you don't eat with your ears something that will disturb and disrupt your faith and your system of growth and development and becoming. I'm sure I'm found The reason you don't see me well, I see you doing this. The reason you don't see me well is because I'm short. Did you all get that, right? When you say to me I'm short, you have not added anything. When when you say you 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 I'm future. You have not added anything. You have not said anything. We were in East London. Uh, no, no, Amanda. Skupisa na gupfusha na betu the status tom. Hi, nanfeleng leka nde wenu feleng. Hi, kululi slang. Nam just kululi slang. And all these people were taking pictures. Basically, it's a centimeter above the other. But it's kupisa na goba wenu short kanga kana. You have not added anything after that day, Amanda. I promise you, I did not grow an inch. <laughs> so telling me what I already am. You have not said anything unless you're bringing a solution. So our conversations must be at solution level. If we on Bambi Zandlu, so shy from so yo yo yo, was the woman for Chanum Kakos, unless we're in a nest, those on dens and bemte. Otherwise, have that conversation elsewhere. Because I'm careful what to eat. Because of the scripture, let's go. Mm -hmm. And let your soul delight in abundance. Let your soul delight in abundance. The Lord says, I'll put you on spacious ground. I was having this contention, I'm telling with the Lord, that I, 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 I a lot. Oh, go ten colors and fig and And you said you'd put me on spacious ground. 
This is not spacious. Create space for me. Now, here's the deal. Don't pray that prayer if you don't mean it. Because the first thing you must do when you're going to pray that prayer, build capacity for the space you're looking for. Because space comes. When, when God gives you a, a 4,5, what are you going to do with it? If I'm not in a lawnmower. The next thing was in yoga and say, Utiko, Wandipum Shaba, Wapindalum Shaba, why pet in Kuala Pakum? Tibonum Taname Pansuchi, why in yoga? You, 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 Lenda, Wesikala, Kuyo, God, you asked for it. You said spacious ground, but you did not prepare capacity and collect lawn mowers and have capacity. You have never, that there's a car. I love cars, Bazalani. I love cars any, any day. I love cars and I love uh, test driving cars. I was test driving this one car. It's a V12 engine. The horsepower of that thing is amazing. Now, when, when you get in, you, when you get into that one car, mama, you 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 cannot buy it if you budget thirty thousand, fifty thousand. No, leave it alone. Because when you get into that one, you don't need a key. You touch and it's gone. Five liters gone. I said, Lord, are you sure you don't want to increase my capacity so that when I get into this one, you, my body being gamma up, I did, I did, run, 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 run. It, and getting it at the time, it, yes, yes, the thing is thirsty. It, five liters, five liters, five liters. <laughs> Now, you have prayed, Lord, put me on spacious ground because there are meetings that when you are going to appear at that meeting, there's a meeting I went to, they told me to, when I come to that meeting, <laughs> because of the level you are going to speak into. And this person who invited me said, Mama, don't worry, when it's time to go, let, let, let them go. The key person, when he goes out, I will, I will indicate, just walk out close to your car. I'll accompany you. I'll delay you a little bit until he sees you. <laughs> Some deals we do are not at, they depend on the key you have. And that key might be that car that you didn't even buy. But God, God did what he, what, what, uh, uh, Boaz, uh, what Boaz had to do. Uh, Naomi said to, Boaz, to, to Ruth that men won't sleep until that car is taken to your home. Because in the next few years, there is somebody who's going to respond to the appearance of that car. And that person is a multimillionaire. Because you drive that car, they will start believing what God is saying through you and come to your church. And that person was saying in the last, last week at church, in uh, the other week in a church in Pretoria, why don't we just buy land or buy a property and build? I will make sure it happens. Where did it start? Look, look at the cycle. Look at the cycle of it. Somebody bought that, if I, that, that, that S class, right? And God in mind had this person in mind who responds to cars, not to the Matthew and Mark. So this one responds to this car because in the mind of God, he wants a church in Pretoria. But because he wants a church in Pretoria, he is going to make this one by this, and this is presented to this, and this one decides I'm building the church in Pretoria. I promise you, be part of the plan of God. Be part of the big thing the Lord is doing. It may not show up where you want it. It may not show up immediately. But God, who is ancient of days, God who will say, who says, I will bless you with wine. Wait for the wine to mature. I promise you, there are people, there are people, you, you, you know, Mama, when I know how God is to me and how my father is, if it was not because of Jesus and my husband, I would be too silly. Because in Tembele, you must have done a Tembele, you can't do 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 a Tembele, you can
Beka wa fi kutataka lande lange weekend. Ulande lewa ebambe lele mlenze ni katatake. Anga ninyo nyo zeli. Abe nga tutatake soza pinda hambe. Because ulande la is trusting on his father. He behaves like his father is going nowhere. You, when you know God and you're holding on God, you look at things like, bring it on, I have my father. Let's finish, let's finish. I got like 35 minutes. Incline okay. your ear to listen and come to me. Uh -huh. Hear so that your soul may live. Hear so that your soul, your, the beginning of your death is at the mess of your soul. The beginning of your down spiral sits at the, at the bank of your psychological presentation. Your soul, your suke. The, the stories that are stored there the pain that is stored there, the mishaps that are stored there, your understanding, your, your, your level of intelligence, what's in your soul will tell how far you go and how far you grow. There comes a time that you just simply need to empty the bank, your memory bank, and feel it. It works like water. If you want to restructure your soul, it works like water in a glass. Uh, you see a glass, can you imagine a glass with water? And, and some, some scab down there of whatever is dirty, that's it, down in the glass, right? Then all you need to do is to keep pouring water. Molus is loose. All you need to do is to keep pouring water. And or you just keep pouring water in the glass, right? Keep pouring water in the glass. Keep pouring water in the glass. Keep pouring water in the glass. And in no time, all that debt keeps coming out. It keeps coming out. That anger comes out. That unforgiveness comes out. That pain comes out. That reference of negative comes out. That failure comes out, that background comes out, and suddenly the water is clean. It says, come and listen to me, so that your soul, uh -huh, let's go, let's go, there's somewhere I'm going, I, I pray we'll arrive today. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, hey, according wait. to the faithful message. He says, according to your soul that is filled with me, I will make what? An everlasting covenant. Uh, let's leave it for another day. It will take us too long. But, but when God makes a, an everlasting covenant with you, when your child fails, God remembers his covenant. When you go to the court of justice by the blood of Jesus Christ and say, Lord, you made an everlasting covenant with me and my children were included in that covenant. Since you are a God who does not forget Amadinga, you are God who will not forget covenants. Remember my child. Lord God, I'm presenting my child by your blood based on your covenant forever and see what the Lord does. Let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. and, and many, many things, Basil. And I, I know you're tired. I'm almost done. Listen carefully. That this is for the third time, right? It says, do what? Listen carefully. Uh -huh. I have appointed him, David, representing mm -hmm. the Messiah, mm -hmm. to be a witness mm -hmm. to the nation. So, so God says, I'm going to call you as a witness. Now, if I were preaching on this one, I would take us to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But we're not preaching on that one. Let's go. Because God wants to make you a witness. The things he's giving you, he wants you to be a witness regarding those. The things, the solutions he gives you, he wants you to be a witness. The, the, the healing of your body, he wants you to be a witness. The restructuring of your family, he wants you to be a witness. You forgiving that person who's unforgivable, who's actually continuing to mess you up, he wants you to be a witness. That you are able, he is God in you. Let's go. To be a witness to the nations regarding salvation. Mm. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. If you, if, you, if you have children, don't localize your children just to South Africa. If you are doing business, don't localize yourself to just South Africa. Because the Lord says, what? Nations. Yes. The Lord says, what? Nations. 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 Until I realized it's fear speaking in me. So I had to come into me and deal with fear of loss and fear of detachment. We mothers... You can, your child is praying, I want to become and be this. When you are answering your fears and you're holding your children back. 
by desires. Your child wants to go, but when because of your fear, you feel like you 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 figure to wabani ani payan you 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 bangam chonga lo 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 ufnekom kumbus ba falumi ango yo you chikile we oh we na i peti i kausi paya se e paya we ufale long banom ta na chikwa mazulu we ufale long banom niango you are speaking what fear. Let go and let God. That's for another time when we do parenting. Let's go. A leader and commander to the peoples. Mm -hmm. In fact, you Israel will call a nation that you do not know. Uh -huh. And a nation that does he, not he, know he you says, will fact, run to you. In fact, <laughs> I like God. He says, in fact, that's not all. There, there, there's business people who will call you. Say, I'm calling from, uh, what, what's your favorite place? I'm calling you from Australia, if you are mom, because I'm calling you from Melbourne. I want to do this with you. And you say, ah, what? Hey, one pressure up. <laughs> and the Lord says, no, don't bother about that. I'm just about to make a deal with you with Koreans. Say Koreans. Korean. Say Koreans. Korean. The person who knows that they know what I'm talking about. I don't even know who that person is, but I hear their name, Korea. Mm -hmm. And the nation that does not know you will uh -huh. run to you because... Go, go to 10. For as the rain and snow come down from heaven, say mighty works, say mighty deeds, produce mighty works. I'm done. This is the last scripture, Bazalwan. I promise you that the last one. And do not return where with, and do not return there without watering the earth, making it bear and sprout, and providing seed to the sower. And bread to the eater. Now, so, all the story you read from the beginning, God is saying that to say, whatever I say comes to pass. Amen. And as God, I put words in your mouth. And whatever the word I have put it in your mouth, if you dare say it, if you dare utter those words, you will be mighty in deeds. Can I say that again? He says, as those words, he says, as the rain and snow, very interesting that he says rain and snow, both of them have the same effect and yet words and yet rain flows, snow congeals, dries up, it's, 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 it's firm. But the results of snow and the res snows take longer. Ne? It piles up. So the Lord says, I will give you rain and rivers. Because ri rivers, mountain rivers, they flow from the snow. So as snow, which is long term, God is consistent with his word. He says, as snow, long term, and, and, and rain right now. It says what? As snow, long term, and rain right now. So in other words, God says, I will take care of you now and forever. I won't break ranks. I will continually do this sprouting. I will continually cause. Okay, let's go. And it says, I will. Mm -hmm. So will my so will my word be. They cause it to sprout. They yes. cause it to what? Sprout. sprout. Tell your neighbor sprout. sprout. Tell your neighbor germinate, germinate, germinate. Say bad, germinate. Say makshumi into apagwe. Magushume, magushume. Let there be budding. Now let's take it back. Let's take it back. Let's take, let's take it back. He says that the, the rain falls on the soil, and Jesus wrote on the soil. So what Jesus was writing on that soil is that which was in the beginning because the soil was designed by God to sprout and the enemy interfered. Now Jesus corrects that by the written code so that when you go to Esther chapter 8 verse 8 or Habakkuk 2 2 or Matthew 8 and Matthew 4 4 you are able to say it is written because I have written it and the Lord has written it. Uh -huh. Changes the whole thing. Ah, mm. 
So, 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 so now that your, your, this soil has been touched, this soil cannot but be productive. You understand? So it cannot just be another soil that's just sitting there. It's going to be a productive soil because the rain and the, and, and the snow have fallen on it, causing it. That scripture says it causes it. It causes, it makes a cause, it makes it able to, where there was inability to be sprouting and germinating and productive, the Lord causes productivity. And listen, listen, go, 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 leave that one. Go, go to Esther chapter 8, verse 8. And I want to show you something very quick. Because, because this is what you're going to do when you go home. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Also concerning the Jews, uh -huh. write as you see fit. In NIV, the NIV, name. NIV. Now write uh -huh. another decree in uh -huh. the king's name. Wait, wait, listen, listen, please listen, listen, listen. If you forgive any, forget anything, don't forget what I'm just about to say. Do you, do, do, do you remember Jesus said to write on the soil, right? And then the rain comes onto the soil, causing the soil to sprout, right? You, do, do you understand that? And Jesus said to change the status quo of the soil and bring it back to its original so that this soil sprouts, this soil is productive. Now, this is how, when you are going to do it. I pray, don't, 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 don't put it in your digital cultural gadget what I'm going to read don't 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 think about it what I'm going to read please don't 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 meditate just about it please don't don't just talk about it please do what the scripture is instructing you to do please say uh, now says, write another decree says, in the uh, king's name right uh, go, go back it says right what it, another uh, decree uh, in the no, king's no, no, go name back, go back verse seven right uh, I want as you please Okay, on the king, oh, your Bible is wrong, man. Okay, let's go. Right? Uh -huh. Now write another decree in the king's name. On behalf of the N king. N N N N KG. Please bear with me, bear, bear with me. You yourselves write a decree concerning the Jews as you please. Wait, in the king's wait, name. wait. Who must be pleased? He's not saying write my will. He says, You didn't get it. He said, Who must be pleased with, with the writing? Write it as you. Because there's a, re, a written code. That was written about you. That limited you and brought you to where you are today. But now the Lord is saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, write another. And write it as you please. There's, God is saying, go to the signature gate. Because there are different gates and altars. I want go to that. He says, go to the signature gate. And when you get the right, what pleases you for the next journey and level of your life? The, what was behind you, you can only override by what you're about to write now. Say override. override. Let's read. Uh -huh. As you please, in the king's name and uh, seal uh, it no, with the king's whoa, 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 whoa. Don't just write it. Write it in the king's name uh -huh. and seal it with and the seal it with the king's ring yes for whatever is written in the king's name and sealed with the king's signet ring no one can revoke no one in Danasakaya, yes please read it out loud that that last part uh -huh. whatever is written in the king's name and sealed with the king's signet ring uh, no one can not revoke not even you tell your neighbor not even you if your neighbor is your family member, say it carefully because you're going home together. <laughs> say, say, no one. No. Say, what I'm just about to write? No one. Not your boss. No one. No, no, not the witch who wants you dead. No one. No, not even the person who doesn't want you to have that deal. No one. I double dare you write that proposal and write it in the king's name and seal it by the Holy Spirit. It doesn't matter if they don't want you 
to have my Bible says no one can revoke it. No one can change what you are going to write. No one, no one. No one, no judge, no lawyer, no miss, no one, no naysayer. Did you know no one, there's nothing they can do about what you are going to write. You can write it and give it to them. No one, no one, no one. Write some things about your children. Write some things about your family. Write some things about your development. Write some things about your future. Write some things about your business. Write some things about your serving God. Write some things about your calling. Write some things about this church. Write some things and write them in the name. Listen, please, this one. Take a ballpoint pen. Sit down. Where there is nobody else. So that you don't get distracted. Write it down. Take your time. Take a pen and take a paper. And write it. Don't write it haphazardly. Think. You know when we do this. Uh, some of the works we do. We call into this place. We call people. And they pay us monies. Only to write a vision board. And this is where I derived that from. I said, write as you please. Because if you write it in the king's name, Jehovah Almighty, and seal it by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says Holy Spirit is our seal of ownership. Seal it by the Holy Spirit and present it to God and caught by his own blood. No one, nobody will take your property from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even that property they wanted to take. They are bringing it back. Because you shall have written it. I double dare you. Write it down. In the name of Jesus. Write it. Don't think about it. Don't pray about it. Because in verse 1 chapter 9. It says. <clears throat> now is the 12th month. Uh -huh. That is the month. Uh, of watch the September next year. From today, from what I am saying today, if you are writing, if you're going to write what I'm writing, count 12 months and see what God is just about to do. I, I double dare you. I double dare you. Look at 2025 from today. Look at your life from today. Look at the months to come from today. I double dare you in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Now in the 12th month, uh, that is, the month mm, of Adar mm, and the 13th day, mm, the time came for the king's command and his decree to be executed. Mm, On the day that the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them, wait, the opposite occurred. They thought things were as they were. They thought they could still overcome you as they could. They thought... They could talk to you anyhow as they have been. They thought they can displace you as they always have been. But listen. Mm -hmm. On the day that the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them, mm. the opposite occurred in that well, the Jews... Tell your neighbor the opposite is just them. about to happen. Says the what? The opposite occurred. Hey, 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 hey. They thought you were not going to open. They thought you were not going to make it. But the opposite occurred. The opposite occurred. Hey, they, they thought you were going to be dismissed from work, but the opposite occurred. They thought they were going to get your position, but the opposite occurred. Say the opposite. Opposite, opposite of their wishes. They thought they've gotten you where it matters the most. They thought you were not going to get your money. They got, but the opposite occurred. The opposite. Uh, uh, let's finish. Let's finish. Uh, uh, the opposite occurred in that uh, the Jews themselves overpowered uh, those who hated them. Uh -huh. The Jews gathered together in their uh, cities uh, uh, throughout uh, 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 go all to the, the other provinces. version that says the tables were turned. What's that? What version is that? Uh -huh. Go. And 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 I One nine, nine one. But now the tables were turned, and the Jews got the upper hand over those who hated them. The Jews are. Ah, 
you will dance your dance and then I say, Kai, yeah, but you will dance your dance, you will dance your dance. Those who thought you would be dead by now, you will dance your dance and then I say, Kai, because now the tables have turned. Tables have turned. And guess what else? It's not only tables that turn. We bump up. You have an upper hand. You have an upper hand on the matter. You have an upper hand on that matter. You have an up. Na na. Ba bang ramil. But they were too much in a hurry. They they quickly laughed. They quickly written you or wrote you off. They 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 quickly looked and sneered at you. Ba bang ramil. Ba bang ramil. They did not know your God. They did not know you will laugh. They did not know tables are turning. I mean that one. Hey, 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 hey. Who can do what you want in the good fast? But they don't know I'm still here and I'm dancing to the Lord because tables know how to turn. And when tables turn, Mama, you have an upper hand and corner. I'm sure you operate. But what we said to you, I remember what my, my pastor said to you. He said, you will come back here and we shall celebrate together. Here you are. Yes, after that. That was not just your testimony. It was our testimony. Because God had to prove to us that what he said through his servant will come to pass. Don't prepare your death. You shall live and not die. And they eat the good of the land. You shall live. You shall live. You are are yet to be successful. You are yet to be celebrated. You have just crashed the ground. You, 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 you have just crashed the ground. Because tables, tables are turning, tables are turning. Tell your neighbor, tables have turned. Don't say they are going to turn. Say tables have turned. Tables have turned. I am stronger than yesterday. I'm better than yesterday. I love better than yesterday. I pray better than yesterday. I preach better than yesterday. I have better than yesterday. I drive better than yesterday. I live in the better than yesterday. My children are better than yesterday. My husband is better than yesterday. I am better than yesterday. I'm more intelligent than yesterday. I'm more wiser than yesterday. I'm more able than yesterday. Day because tables have turned. I have an upper hand. Tell your neighbor, Baba Papa Pesulum Dana Sekai. Baba Pesulu, you have an upper hand. Don't drop your hand. Don't drop your hand. You have an upper hand. You have an upper hand in the matter. Jesus, let us stand. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. This church has an upper hand. See your neighbors on those empty chairs. See people filling these empty chairs. I'm going to ask everybody in this church, go and touch an empty chair and say, tables have turned your back. Tell somebody, tables have turned. Find an empty chair over there. Prophesy to those empty chairs and say, you, you will have peace.